This is one of the first Profi drums shipped to the United States in the spring of 2014. It's been in this garage since then. Today I'm doing the installation of this unit. This is with the lid off. As you can see, the uh, packing rope is still wrapped around the drum. The most important thing for these units is the water level. So water level should be within one inch of this outlet tray here. This Italian made stainless steel jet pump came with the unit as well as the control unit for the drum. Here I have already installed the 4 inch bottom drain line as well as the two skimmers into the drum. Make sure that you have valves with each of these pipes. This is the outlet side of the pump. As you can see I've used one of the outlets to feed the jet pump which in turn is used to clean the drum filter. It's important to have the correct water level inside the drum. Here it's an inch and a quarter less than the top lip of the waste tray. You want it as high as it's possible since you want the most surface area to be used on the drum screen. Anything higher than this would just outflow over the top lip of this tray. This is one of the two probes that comes with the drum filter. Installation is very, very simple. Unscrew here, and then I used a 14 gauge wire to insert into here, and then you just tighten it up. Now let's go on to the installation of the control unit. This is the control unit with the lid open. Power to the control unit goes here and here. This is the for the jet pump, jet pump, drum filter, drum filter, and the um, low water probes here and here. I have already connected the wiring to the control unit and let's review it. The two probes coming out of the uh, casing is here and it enters the control unit with the black wire and the white wire that feeds all the way to the top to the third and fifth plugs. The drum has two wires coming out of it, a blue wire and a brown wire as well as a green brown wire. Here it is. You have the brown and blue wire as well as the green slash yellow brown wire. For the jet pump there's three wires, a black, white and a brown wire fitting into the control unit and here it is, black and white as well as the green brown wire. Lastly we need to give power to the control unit you have this hot wire, which is the black wire, as well as the neutral wire, which is the white wire, and the ground wire, and it goes out of the control unit into this cord, and it's going to end at this plug here. Now it's plugged in and turned on. Automatic light is switched to on. Now we have full power into the uh, drum filter. On the dirty side of the drum filter, the water is high. On the clean side, it's really, really low. Uh, it's due for a cleaning of the drum cycling right now. Let's watch. 